Okay, in this video I want to show you how to use this proof checker that goes with the textbook. So you can get to this page by going to logic.tamu.edu then once you're there you want to go to the daemon proof checker Okay, and then you're here at the logic daemon. So to use this, you have to take an argument, that is take a sequent, and I'll take one from, on page 28, from the exercises at the top of the page there, S1. Okay, notice, oops, this should be our case. All right, so uh, the wedge is the V, tilde's on the keyboard, the arrow is just a dash and the greater than sign, and then the conclusion we put on the other side of the turnstile, so that's gonna be S. And down here, you put the proof itself. So we'll start with oops, the premises that were given and they have to be cited, so put the A there. Okay, we also have to include the assumption set on the far left which for the assumptions themselves is just each of them. Okay, and the assumption set for these two is Okay, so don't worry about the spacing, that's not important, but you do have to get the assumption set, line numbers, assumptions are not in parentheses, the line numbers are in parentheses, the line itself, the, it's the very bottom of the page, down here it gives you the, you know, the wedge is the lowercase v, arrow is dash greater than, double arrow, so on and so forth. Okay, so you need to use those. Uh, spacing doesn't matter for that. And then you have to cite the lines using, uh, for the premises, uh, use A for assumption. And then the, uh, for other lines, the line numbers and the rule that you've used to manipulate. Okay, so you do all that, then you Hit check proof. Come over here. Okay, so I made a mistake. So it shows me this. these lines, the first four, are all okay. But in the last line, I've made a mistake. Incorrect or unrecognized annotation. All right, so I know what I did. So I come back. I put the two... Uh, lines, but I didn't put the rule, which is arrow elimination. So I fill that in, check proof again. Okay, congratulations, your proof is correct. Now, if I ask you to mail it to me, email it to me, you should come over here to the mail proof, that is this one here, click on that will bring up this. So put in my, we'll use my Gmail address. Gregory.s.johnson at gmail.com. Put in your own, let's see, GSJ, Mississippi State. Where's this going? MSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSS
down here, the outer comments, put who it's from. Um, I, I'll be able to tell from your the handle of your email address, but just to make it easier. And then at the very bottom, hit uh, send mail. And actually, you can send this even if you didn't figure it out and get it right, you can still send it and it will just show up as um, whatever you did figure out, as much as you were able to figure out. And it will, I mean, I'll be able to see, but it will also say that it was not, uh, you did not complete the proof. Once it's sent, you'll get this and you're done.